Hey, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, we're going to use the phase subsystem in SynthEyes to set up a coordinate system for this particular shot. It's a uh, ship sailing along a dock, and perhaps we want to add a, another ship sailing around in the ocean in the back there. So we'll start off with a straight auto track without any placement at all. So all the trackers are just sitting around up in the air somewhere. So now let's take a look. What we're going to do, we're going to set up a ground plane that extends accurately out to this horizon line. And to do that, we're going to use the two trackers on the bridge here as references. So the first thing we need to do is go and get them to be solved. And they're pretty far away and uh, there's a little lens distortion, so they don't actually wind up getting solved normally. But we'll make them zero weighted far trackers so now that we do have a solution for them. So now let's go over to the phase panel and we'll start setting up some phases. We'll start off with a clean start and then a solve. And notice that I'm using the vertical orientation of the phase pathways here. That's a preference option. And now we're going to go with a set horizon phase. So for that we need to, to go select our two trackers which we already have. So we're going to store them away. We're also going to save the current frame. But uh, store away our current trackers and let's go to a somewhat different configuration and we'll run what we've got so far. So we just resolve the shot. And we do have a solution. Here are our two uh, far trackers. They're sitting there on the ground plane, basically far away. And they're, they're evaluated with respect to the camera on the frame that we have selected here, just for future reference. That's it's kind of a detail. It, it, won't matter as long as everything really is far away. Uh, up closer there can be a little more thought that you might have to give to that. But uh, so far the horizon is sitting out right on those trackers. So we actually want it to go down a bit below there. So the phase for the set horizon is actually adjustable. We can do a little direction adjustment, a roll adjustment, a pitch adjustment. They can be used to change you know, how we want the coordinate system set up. So actually we need it to pitch down a little bit. So I don't know, let's see. Run it down a half a degree. Go back and take a look. So maybe that's a little bit much. I could play around with some different viewports to make this a little easier. So I brought it up a, a bit. But uh, you get the general idea. I can go and, and adjust the pitch angle, the roll, and, and whatnot as well. Looks like maybe I might need to tweak the orientation, of the roll angle a little bit too for that matter. The uh, other things though that we would like to adjust, let's see, maybe we'll take over this view. The other things that we ought to adjust too while we're at it, you know, every coordinate system should always set up the rotation, the position, and the scaling. And so far really the horizon phase only sets up the orientation. So to set up the positioning, I'm going to set up a slide into position phase. And it needs to be given one of these trackers to, to be the origin. So let's just take one that's in the middle of the parking lot there. and It's not really going to make a whole lot of difference which it, which it is. 
but it's just roughly at the water level. And we're going to be operating out there anyway, probably. So uh, that, you know, then goes and adjusts everything to uh, in the vertical direction. So that, that tracker is now sitting there at the origin on the ground level, and we've got a horizon is still set up. So the other thing that we need to do is adjust the scaling. So to adjust the scaling, we can maybe just take a couple of these trackers that are along the little picket fence there. So we'll say that maybe they're six poles at five feet apart. So uh, we'll add a tracker to tracker distance phase. We're going to store those two trackers into it to use. We're going to set the distance up to that uh, 30, 30 feet there. And now when I rerun that, it's now adjusted the scaling. You can see down at the uh, bottom status line, it's, it's showing the distance between those trackers to be the uh, 30 feet that we've selected. So this is a completely ad hoc way to set up a coordinate system. And, and you see that basically I'm looking at what I want to have happen in the scene and what information is available in the scene and just calling up the available phases to be able to do what I want. And if you look, there's there's actually quite a lot of different options available based on the how far the camera or object has traveled, a whole bunch of different things, the height of the camera and so on. So there are a lot of different options that you can use depending on what the nature of the scene is to set up a coordinate system just the way that you like it. Thanks.